Hey there, Facebook. Hello. It's Kendra here of KendraKWoods.com. And <clears throat> I am literally about to walk out the door and head on a road trip with my family to Atlanta to go hang out with some family. And before I go on the road, I wanted to just quickly get on and share something that I was thinking about today in regards to competitiveness and being in business, right? And um, this thought occurred to me today because over the past couple of weeks, I've really been more conscious about, um, you know, looking on Facebook to see who's doing what and, you know, and, and just scrolling through and just looking at what all the other, you know, coaches and business women are doing online. And it occurred to me that at there was a point in my business where, um, I was comparing myself to other women in business, right? Like I was looking at what they were doing and I was comparing myself to them. And um, so what I wanted to mention to you really, really quick is I was comparing myself to what they were doing. So I was looking at what I was doing and then I was going and I'm looking at other, you know, at their Facebook posts, or at their programs. And I was like, wow, man, it seems, you know, I, you know, I was looking at their stuff like it was better than mine, right? And um, I've worked through that and, you know, I've gotten to a place where I understand that we're all in this in this game of business together and being in a mindset of competitiveness really put me in a place of lack and scarcity and it made me do things out of lack and scarcity. It, you know, I made decisions out of fear. I made decisions, you know, based upon, you know, what... Um, maybe somebody else was doing, right? And so I've since evolved from that and I'm really finding myself kind of coming into my own, you know, when it comes to, um, you know, what I want my business to be about and what I'm, what I want to talk about and what I want to teach and, and all that good stuff. But I just needed to share that with you because I know, um, really regardless of what stage of business you're in, you may find yourself sometimes kind of slipping into that space of, you know, looking at what other people are doing and, consciously and sometimes even unconsciously comparing what someone else is doing to what you're doing and thinking that, you know, their stuff sounds better, right? And I just want to bring your awareness to that and just let you know that, you know, when we do that, when we look at what somebody else is doing and we find ourselves being in that com com that comparison mindset, what we're doing is we're putting ourselves in a competitive frame of mind right? We're, we're being competitive. And, and I get that because, you know, growing up, I played sports my whole life. I mean, you know, I played soccer and I ran track and, um, played basketball and basketball was like the one sport that, um, I really stuck with the longest and what I played throughout elementary school, middle school, and even through high school. So, um, competitiveness is kind of something that I've learned and have been conditioned, right? Because it's like, you've got to be better than the other team because you want to win. You want to go to the finals. You want to go to the state championship, all that good stuff. But what I am learning in business is that there can be a place for healthy competitiveness, you know, in sports and all that good stuff. But I don't feel like for me anyways, and maybe you can resonate with this, that competitiveness really works when it comes to um, creating a business that you feel really good about, right? Creating a business that's aligned to your sole purpose. And that's what I'm all about. That's what I'm all about helping my clients do is, you know, really um, create a business and a life that feels good to them on the inside that feels like it's aligned to their sole purpose, right? And so when I think of competitiveness in that sense, I look at when we're trying to compare ourselves and looking at what, um, I am sweating. Look at me. Who I've been running around packing stuff up. Um, but that when we're looking at what other people are doing and we find ourselves kind of consciously or subconsciously, um, you know, comparing ourselves, what happens is, is that we're putting ourselves in a space of competitiveness. And then what that does is it literally cuts off your creativity. And I want you to pay attention to that next time you find yourself comparing, you know, your program to somebody else's or your, you know, message or somebody else's message, just consciously tune in and notice that when you do that, you, it can, you find yourself, um, feeling challenged to be, creative and trying to come up with new ideas and new ways of being, right? And so I want to encourage you to, to say that 
really what it what you what needs to happen and what needed to happen for me and what I have kind of flipped into is looking at this whole business that I'm in and looking at the the business industry as a whole when it comes to an online business being a coach a speaker an author a mentor all that good stuff is that everybody that is in the industry has a beautiful gift right and you know what I do in my business may be very similar to what somebody else does in their business right you know I'm not the only mindset and business coach in the industry industry and my message may be kind of similar to some others in the industry. However, what I've learned and what I want you to understand is that the way that you present your information, the way you show up online, the way you teach and work with your clients, the way that you create an environment of transformation for your clients, um, the way that you hold space for your clients to grow and to, you know, learn how to, um, you know, increase their self-worth and confidence. The way that you do that is always going to be different and unique from another person. Always. And your uniqueness and somebody else's uniqueness never takes away from what's for you in business or what's for that other person in business. Because we live in a universe that is absolutely abundant, right? I mean, it gives us everything that we could possibly need. But if we don't allow ourselves to be in that state of mind where we're thinking, where we have an abundance mindset, where we can appreciate and honor, you know, the, the skills and the talents of others, if we don't allow ourselves to be in that space, then we kind of cut ourselves off off to um, to what wants to come in to our business and to our life. We cut ourselves off to more clients coming in, to more income coming in. We cut ourselves off to the ideas that want to flow through us and be expressed through us, right? So, you know, let's let's make a choice today to cut ourselves off from that idea of comparing, all right? There's no need. And I understand that we're all human and... Um, you may find yourself kind of falling back into that every once in a while where maybe you're feeling a little unsure or a little uncertain or a little, you know, less confident than you normally do. But what you can do in that and what I've learned to do, and I did this over the past week when my husband came back home from being overseas, it kind of shook up my schedule a little bit, right? And I was feeling really kind of off and not really in my flow. And I spent, you know, a good three days just in deep contemplation and in meditation. And what I learned is, is that when I get to that place of feeling like I'm not as confident or doubtful or whatnot, that going into meditation actually, it gave me the answer that I needed. And the answer that I needed in that moment was just to let go and to have fun, to let go and have fun with my husband being home to let go and have fun with my kids and family and watch movies and hang out and not be so, you know, uptight and rigid about things. And so I share that with you to say that whenever you find yourself being getting doubtful or wondering if, you know, um, your product is good enough or your service is good enough or your message is good enough, just allow yourself to get still and quiet and listen. Listen to what's going on inside of you and and tune into the truth that's inside of you that says, yes, you are good enough. Yes, your message is perfect for your community and for your tribe. And the way that you express yourself is a complete, unique expression that's perfect for you. So when you can, um, you know, flip back into that to that space of um, of just full acceptance and pure acceptance of who you are and how you communicate and how you show up, then you open the floodgates to receive the ideas, to receive the clients, to receive the the flow that you're looking for. Okay, so that is the message message I have for you today, and I want to share with you as well that. Coming up, starting on February 8th, uh, my new program is going to be starting called Breakthrough Your Business Blocks. And we're going to be working through um, a lot of mindset work to help you shift into the next level version of who you are, right? That vision you have of yourself of being a successful businesswoman, a powerful businesswoman, which you already are. But then sometimes the thoughts and the beliefs and, you know the ways of being that aren't serving you can really get in the way, right? And so I'm going to help you to really get out of your way so that you can step into the next level of who you're meant to be in business and in life. And there's also going to be business strategy that's included with this program as well. So I'm tying the two together because I understand that until we get our mindset together, until we heal what's within, um, we'll find it difficult to actually follow 
through on the strategy that's been given to us. So I'm going to give you the best of both worlds in this program over the course of seven weeks. So I'll leave the link in the comments for you if you're interested, if it resonates with you. Um, click on the link. You can find out more information about it. We start on February the 8th. And if you have further questions, just send me a message and you know, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions or set up a phone call with you and talk about, you know, how this program can help you and if it's a good fit for where you're at right now in your business, okay? So I'm going to get out of here. I hear my family getting in the car and I'm going to go jump in the car so we can get on the road and get up to Atlanta and enjoy our family. So you have a fantastic day. I love you. Thank you so much for those of you watching live. Thank you for those that are watching the recording. Um, I'm grateful for you and I appreciate your attention and your energy and all that good stuff. So I'm sending you much love and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.